welcome back all of you and anahir and then we are into a special session on this uh, structure enterprise structure creation in a very fast manner so let us go ahead and then start our activity on this it's now 5 5 we'll now see about how much of time i'm taking it for completing it <clears throat> so this is one now thank you so i am going to use one of the latest list strategies as i hope that uh, nobody would have fiddled around on this now <clears throat> so let me go there and then uh, here uh, there is one thing called eat it fine let me do the eat it on this now fine i will now click on the eat it <clears throat> I have already signed in, and so what happens? It will be going directly into the software. Okay, it's not going. So let me sign in. <clears throat> so once when you sign in, what you do is you make a multiple. Uh, what happens? Uh, the top open up multiple <clears throat> screens actually. So go there. Open up one more tab. You can find have multiple tabs. Right click and then duplicate, and then right click and then duplicate. Right click and then duplicate. So we are in the first screen now. Fine, three more screens are open, and let us now go there and then start our activity on this. So we are going to begin with the location creation. Now, fine. I will now go to the manage locations. Fine. So let us now go there straight away and then create it. So click on it. <coughs> I will now go to the setup and maintenance. <coughs> so keep multiple screens open so that what happens? Your output will be fast actually. <coughs> so click on search now. So I will now go to the manage locations. Fine. So let me go and then create my location. I am now using the same K zero one prefix now. Fine. So that one I am going to use. And then if you have any doubts at any point of time, please ask me then and there, so that I will now clarify it also. So click on create now. Fine. I am going to create it. <clears throat> so I am now going to have a zero as a master. Now, fine. Not, I will not have a zero. And then go that click on it. The K zero one underscore lock underscore zero. So take over it. It is not a difficult one. If you simply follow what happens, it will all be easy. Actually. I will now go to the what's called your Zip code one zero zero two zero. Then you tap. So once you get the code, you choose one of them. So the remaining mandatory fields will be populated. And then I'm going to put the address as what K zero one address zero. Fine, that's it. Fine. Well, I click on submit. By which what happens? This is now created. So the first address is not the first location is now created. So in the meantime, what happens? I will now go there. Click on it. I will now bring the setup and maintenance to this place now, <clears throat> so that can even work on it. So we should not. What happens? Uh, wait for the system to respond. You should do something or other always. Let me click on this. <clears throat> so click on it. I will not put the manage locations over here. Click on sorry, you know the wrong locations. And I'm going to go to this place and then take a copy of the manage locations now and then put it on this place. In the meantime, what happens? It would accept it. Fine. Click on OK. Yes. I will not go to the manage locations and then I'm going to create the second location. Now. Click on create now. So this is the first child dog's location actually. So I'm not going there. It's a key zero one underscore lock underscore one. So it is not coming in caps. I don't want caps at all. Fine. Right? So key zero one underscore lock underscore one. So I will not take a copy of it. What are the code? What are the description of it? I will not put the zip code over here. It's one zero zero two zero. I'm putting it over here. Choose one of them. Fine. Right? And then I will not put the address over here. So it's a key zero one. Fine. Address one. And then click on submit by which it is now getting submitted. We'll now go here and then click on the create now. Fine. The other screen. I'm not going to that. So in that whatever we're going to that. So I will now get the second location over here. <clears throat> so go there. Click on it. It's K zero one. Fine. Underscore lock underscore two. So utilize your uh, whatever the time effectively so that whatever you cannot open multiple screens and then keep on doing it. So you should not wait at all. Fine. One zero two two zero and then go tab. <clears throat> I'm not using one of them. Click on okay now. Fine. <clears throat> Now go to this place. Fine. It is K zero one. Fine. Address two. So click on submit. Now fine. The previous screen we already submitted. Fine. Go to click on yes. Now fine. It now it is accepted. Then finally it will come in. So here also what happens? It will come in. Click on yes. Now fine. Now fine. So it will now come to what yes is. In the meantime, what happens? It will now go there and then take our next one. Fine. So afterwards we are now going to the eighth, ninth step. We'll be doing it only in the procurement, not now. Fine. We will now go to the tenth step. Now fine. Click on it. We will now go to the manage legal address. Fine. Click on OK. So click on OK. <clears throat> Here also, whatever you can click on OK, it will be coming out fine. Click on Done and then come out. Okay. And then we are now going to create the manage legal. So the legal address we are going to create now. Click on manage legal address. Enter it. <clears throat> Let us now give a plus and then create the legal address now. So the legal address is the legal address of a company, implementing company. Let's say you are now implementing it for Alliance Industries in Bombay. So it is a Bombay address actually. The implementing company. You are now in Oracle and then you are implementing. Uh, yeah, Fusion product for the Reliance uh, Industries in Bombay. So this is the legal address of the Reliance Industries in Bombay. Now. <clears throat> so that way you do it. So in the meantime, what happens? This also will now bring it to the setup and maintenance part. Click on the setup and maintenance, then bring it to this place now. <clears throat> go there. Click on it. Will now go to this place. Click on search. 
three year also whatever they give it done and then come out of it not here come over here so it's still working up and now really this is not coming so after the legal it is created then only we have to get the legal entity so it is a time it is a what is called it, this has to be done then only whatever we can do it up some screens if they are not opened at all by anybody then it will not take a long time so that we have to leave it in mind no no that so this screen was never opened by anybody so go there so click on plus and then i'm now going to provide the legal address now. i will now say it's what always prefix with yours now fine with that i'm say legal address so it is only for the training purposes we are doing it now fine otherwise what you have to do is you have to give the exact ones as per the end client <clears throat> 10020 and then when i click on search so once when you search for it i'm not taking the biggest one on this no fine or not so everything is not on fine click on okay fine time zone is not required immediately and click on save and close by which the legal entity is now created we'll now go on then create the legal entity so we'll now go to the previous screen or again it's something like that we'll now come out of it so let us now create our legal entity click on the manage legal entity so we are going to create the legal entity now fine the legal entity is the heart of our structure and then all data will be residing on this list so k01 underscore no say legal entity e n t a t y entity right here it is k01 underscore legal underscore identifier for us and over here i will not put my k01 and then give it up it will be coming automatically and since the system works with the uh, us one so give new york no problem you go okay because the localization patch is not there in this place so then by what happens you always follow us no problem so i will not put here no problem k01 underscore 123 thank you So K zero one number four four five six. This will be given by the end client, and then you have to provide now. So everything is ready. Fine. Click on seven close, and then here you have to wait for some time till the legal entity gets created. Now, sometimes what happens is you are throwing an error. So wait for it to get completed, and then afterwards go again. Fine. So do not move away from the screen at all. <clears throat> It's a very sensitive one. The legal entity is the heart of a structure, and then see to it that everything is now coming up, and then it is now getting created actually. Fine. It sometimes it throws an error now. <clears throat> so you should ensure that it is not throwing an error. So you have to wait for the screen to complete. <clears throat> and then afterwards you can go ahead now go 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 fine <clears throat> so all this thing you have to normally enable the payroll statutory and legal employee that's okay fine that's what my hcm team told up fine attempt to access d dead view row is not coming fine that's what is fine we'll go that one it is not accepting it so i will not create for next one fine over so oh god what happened fine give a cancel no fine so something has happened on this no fine over so i think it looks like it is there actually fine uh, the legal address everything is there Fine. Uh, it's now giving some error. Actually, fine. So we give us cancel now. Fine. No, no, cancel. <clears throat> you see, something has happened on this one. So I am not happy with that uh, way in which it has not done. Now, fine. Let me go and create my what happens the legal entity. Now, fine again. So not legal entity because my legal entity is not done properly. Fine. What I want. Let me create the next legal entity. Fine. The key zero one underscore legal underscore entity underscore one. I am going to put. Fine. So legal entity underscore one. Fine. I'm putting it. So it is our k zero one underscore legal underscore ident one. So it has to come up properly. Otherwise, what happens? You better create a new one. Now. In reality, you have to correct it. When such a problem comes, you have to correct it by talking to Oracle. Otherwise, what happens? In our training, it's okay. It's fine. K zero one underscore one two three three, and then here I will now put k zero one underscore four five six six. So it's no legal entity identifier one or big legal. Fine, what is legal? So it's a legal entity underscore one is the one which I'm going to use. Frankly, concept and close. Now we'll wait for it to complete. So previously, sorry, sorry. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Problems you told uh, by contacting Oracle. Uh, is there any help of something? Uh, no, only S R address. No, no, you have only raised S R. So this time it it saved properly. It didn't give any error. Fine. So legal entity is okay. Fine. Next is what legal entity at C M information. Contacting Oracle is more. You have to raise only an S R. So we even have a. What happens? The success manager available, so through him also we can contact if uh, the problem is urgent actually. So there will be a customer success manager everywhere. So through him, what happens? We can very well contact. K zero one. I am putting it. Fine. This is the only one which is coming. The previous one has not got saved, isn't it? Fine. Click on it. I will now click on the hyperlink of the legal entity underscore one. I go there, and then let us now go and then bring it to the update mode. So I am now going to enter the legal entity my information here. I am going to associate an LDG to the LDG. Now. L D G to the L is a must. We are associate now, right? So click on the hyperlink. It will be coming. And go to the edit and then click on update now. And you are going to associate the L D G. Accept this update option, fine. Right? That's okay. And then go to the payroll statute where you need to associate. When I was implementing it for a Kuwaiti company, H C M was not installed. So in this place, my L D G itself came as a L D G. That is what my H C M team told me. Right? Here in the training instances, you will be getting plenty now. 
but uh, your le itself will come over here okay one next i got the le here and there's the only value available here so auto associate that as a ldj key go there i am now doing us one of right? us is a very excellent one it has been fully configured properly so us legislated ldg you can use now right? so click on submit by which whatever the ldg is now submitted fine click on submit fine that's not up <coughs> so this activity is now complete fine go that you want now go back and then now go there you will now go to the chart of accounts value sets and then start to create go to this place go to this place and there so now paste it again on the third screen we are now working on it now right? click on it so in this place they are not done now fine go there now back now so let us now click on plus and then i am now going to get my value set now so it's a k01 underscore company underscore value set underscore one so drop down i will not take a copy of it now <clears throat> put on the description and paste it and then here drop it down module is general ledger <clears throat> so that so here it is what it is independent and then here you go for what character and then go for text now don't make any mistakes because mistakes is really very very difficult now find the correct it because there's the one fine click on seven post baby chorma that company i given company seven or something other kind of wrong one of it is about i click on the plus one i made a mistake there fine class i am saying the k01 underscore department fine underscore value set underscore two fine the company the name was wrong actually so don't make such mistakes because in the field this is not allowed at all fine you are not supposed to create in a very with a spelling mistake and all fine sometimes it will not be possible to correct it all okay so go to the character and then make it to the text now fine i'm going to make it as three characters now fine three characters are making thank you can save close you know that so the second value set is ready so now go on and click on plus now fine now go on and get the final value set so so, so so k01 underscore what about accounting underscore value set underscore three now fine these orders i'm going to take off it now go there click on it description and pasting it now fine drop down <coughs> general ledger you know that so here is what it given it go there click on it i now have a character and then here is the text now and there is going to be four characters only right? fine click on seven close maybe you have completed let us now make a verification that everything is okay or not <laughs> somebody please answer the uh, things now fine i don't have time to answer the fine so there are some questions there here and there so go that click on k01 is the one <clears throat> please answer the whatsapp messages from there so we have vs1 vs2 and vs3 are ready thank you let us now leave this as such now fine go that click on it and come back down so this is not working at all fine there is a problem i will not close it now go this place fine click on done and then come out of it now one screen is lost actually I will now go that click on it. Will now bring it to the set up and maintenance. One screen is lost. It had a problem, and then it it was lost actually. So we have got now three more screens available. We will now go back here. I go that now the value set is now created. We will now go on the create our accounting calendar. Paste it. Open up multiple screens and then improve your productivity. Click on plus. Now I am going to get my accounting calendar. I go that it's a K zero one underscore accounting underscore cal. For my easiness, I am not writing everything in small. In reality, it won't be. It has to be either caps and small as per the requirement. Fine. So one one twenty two is the one. Fine for that. So I will know everything is okay. Fine. Click on next. Now. This case, nothing else to be done. Fine. Click on next. Now. Fine. And then click on save and close. By which whatever this activity is now getting completed. So calendar is now created. We will now go down, and then we will now go to the structures. Now we are going to create a structure. We will now go to the other one. Now. Fine. Click on it. Some of that. So you can then click on done and then come out of it because your calendar is now getting created. Fine, go there. It is now come out of it. Doesn't matter. Fine, click on done and then come out of it. You can then go there. So we we'll now go and then create a structure. You know, manage out of account structure is the one. Fine, click on it. You're going to create a structure. So click on search. It will be coming. Okay, the green tick mark is fine now. Fine because nobody is now working on it. Fine, click on manage structures and then I'm going to do it. Fine, click on plus now. Fine, I will now create a structure actually. So I will now say K zero one underscore str. Fine, go there. So I will now take a copy of it. Fine, put the name now. Paste it. I don't put the description. And then the delimiter is going to be hyphen. Fine, hyphen is the delimiter. The moment you give a save, the plus symbol will be coming. Fine, click on save. The plus symbol will be coming. We can start to create our segments over there. Plus symbol. That is okay. So it's a K zero one. Let's call company. Remember, there should not be any spaces because one of the guy has made a mistake here. Fine, no spaces here. Fine, take away. Click on the AP name. It will be coming automatically. Name you paste it. Fine, with the description you paste it. And then your sequence number is one. Prompt is pasted. Short prompt also you can paste it. The display width is going to be twenty characters. Fine. Range is null. Column is segment one. <clears throat> and then drop it down. We are going to choose our value sets. So you know, fine. Click on search now. Fine. We'll now choose our value sets. Fine. So K zero one and then entry now. Fine. We'll be coming. We'll now choose the company value set. I have now made a seven here. Fine. There's a mistake. So do not try to make any mistake. Fine. It is going to be a primary segment. So this is called flux field qualifiers in EBS now. Fine. It's a primary here. It is known as a label actually. So that's it. So no mistakes must be there. Fine. It's a very sensitive one. If you make a mistake, it will not be possible for us to correct it off. Fine. Click on seven post. It becomes difficult to correct. We can do it, but it's difficult. Fine. Click on plus one. Don't make any mistake here at all. So K zero one. Let's go. Department. So I will not take a copy of it. Take a copy. Put 
put on the AP name and coming fine. Right? Name, I'm pasting it. Description, I'm pasting it fine. It's going to be too now fine. Click on the prompt, paste it. So click on the short prompt, paste it. My description is going to be 20 characters. You know that. So call up, I drop it down. <clears throat> I'll use the segment two now. Fine, you know that. I will now search for us on the brain. Now, click on search and then search our values starting on K01. Fine, you know that. I will not choose the department. <clears throat> department, I'm choosing it. Fine. So this is going to be a cost center actually. Fine. Bring it over there. So click on save and close. No, done. We'll now go on and create our final segment for this exercise actually. <clears throat> this is the K01 underscore for our accounting. <clears throat> Accounting is the one sign over there. So take it off of it, fine over there. So click on the AP name, it will be coming. And the name, paste it, and description, you paste it, fine over there. Is it difficult? I mean, uh, are you finding it difficult or easy? Anybody? <laughs> not difficult, not difficult. Not, not at all difficult. No, I mean, that's what I said. It looks easy. When you Just practice it, it will become easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once when you practice it, it will not get fine. It's all, it's all nothing. Very simple thing, not fine over there. So I will not. Nana, sir, I have just one question on this. Tell me, tell me, tell me. So no, in one instance, in one instance, when we all create these structures, so my understanding is for one enterprise, there could be just one structure. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. In reality, it won't be like this. It's only for training we're doing it. Now, fine. If you go there, there will be only one structure in the client location. Understand. Understand. Only for training, everybody is now creating a structure. Okay, fine. When only we are creating, structure. when we are creating, everybody is creating this instance. Will allow to do that? It is allowing you. Fine. It doesn't. It doesn't okay. stop you at all. Fine. You can even have multiple structures like this one. Because in this place, in Fusion, we can have multiple enterprises in one instance, whereas it is not possible in EBS now. EBS has got only one business group here. We can have multiple what happens, instances of the thing. So click on save and close. It's possible. So that is allowing. So everything is now done now. Fine. Click on save and close and then come out of it and then you know, go there. I will not click on done and then come out of it. It will not come to the main screen and then we'll go to the manage structures. Fine. I will not create our instance, structure instance. I'm going to create now. Fine. So I will not say it's a K01 underscore. It's a chart of accounts. Fine. It's the one you're going to transact now. Fine. That is only instance and then structure. Instance only is transactable. And go, that's it. I will not paste on the name. Click on the description. Now. You drop it down and then choose your K01. It will be there in the bottom. You choose it. No, fine. It's all coming. So go there. Everything is coming. Select the company and then click on edit now. <coughs> you're going to edit it. And then we're going to make it as a required fine. This is a must actually. This is not so in EBS. No, fine. There's no such thing. In the EBS is not so. Whereas the infusion, they have added this required extra actually. Fine. We have to make it. Otherwise, it will not work at all. And select it and then click on it. <coughs> is required as a fine on it. In EBS, in, in our supply chain, we need not have to make it. No, fine. We'll not come to the supply chain structures. There are two structures, two key field structures are available now. So click on that. No, fine. Now everything is done. No, fine. Click on deploy. No, fine. I'm going to deploy. So once when I deploy it, it will not start to deploy. Fine, go there. So I'm in the, the out of the three, I'm in the last one now. Fine. Let it start, let it run now. And then afterwards I go there. So zero of 36 is now coming. So if it goes to one, I will not go to the next screen now. So go there. It's now going. Fine, go there. Answer, at this point, when we are deploying it, at this point, is it going to override all the other previous structures? Uh, no. Uh, see, it has not taken a snapshot of whatever has been made on the structure and structure and then started deploying. So once the snapshot okay. is made, it's not doing it. In the meantime, if somebody is correcting it, it will allow to correct. But that will not going to affect yours now, basically. Yours is getting deployed. Okay. Others are going off. So now, after this, after the deployment is completed, then only we can proceed ahead. So what happens? We cannot do the remaining steps. So we to utilize the time, what happens? I go there. I will now go and then create my facility ships. Deployments will uh, uh, deployments will will be arranged at uh, instance level or user level. Now? Is the instance level? It is not a user level. Fine. We are not setting up at the instance level. It's not a user level. User level do not have anything. So manage, you know, setting the structure actually. So we will now create our ship actually. I click on the ship. I will now say K01. I will now say facility ship. Facility ship, I'm creating in a panel. So take copy from facility ship. Facility ship, take copy. And then put in the description. I will now say it's a K01 of the core fine. Is the start time is eight colon zero zero space AM. That way it is, right? It is eight hours. I'm going to drop it down. I will now make it as what hours. So category is what? Work from office now. <clears throat> and then here, what happens? It's going to be none now. Fine, click on seven close by which what happens? My facility shift is created actually. Then afterwards, I go for the workday patterns. So click on done and then come out of it. You will not create a work day pattern. It's so easy. It's not at all difficult. <clears throat> you can very easily do it. So we'll now go there. Click on plus now. Fine. Utilize the time. When this is now going on now. Fine. This place, what happens? The chart of accounts is now going on. 36 is 36 is complete. So after we complete everything, we'll be ready now. K01 underscore. Uh, WDP is a workday pattern now. So go there. So this will have a greater effect only Anit Bhan Naha is there. Fine. You can uh, discuss with him once when you're going to go into the planning module, it will be of a greater importance actually. Thank you, Master. In fusion, in inventory, it has got no big importance at all. So I will now put K01 and then give a tap. 
So if it doesn't come, you have to drop down on choose. If it's not coming, fine, click on save and close by which model was there. My work day pattern is created actually. So utilize the time to the best possible extent. You'll go there, click on turn on fine, click on save and close and come out of it. Whenever you have a save and close, you have to save and close and come out. Finally, what I was here, go to the schedule. So you know, take away the world. So let us now create our schedule over here. Fine. So paste it over here. So click on it. We'll not create our schedule. So in this place, we are doing it now. Go there, click on turn on fine. We'll also turn on click on it. So you know, go to this. Let us now create our schedule. And click on plus. <clears throat> I will now say K01. I will now say facility schedule so it is a facility schedule thing of that point. so take off it and then put the description on it paste it over here that. so category is going to be work and then it normally comes only for one day and then make it for four years actually make it for four years and then here you choose this one now that. so click on plus and then here in the pattern i'm going to give a pattern of that sequence number is one and then go there it's a k01 and then give a tap by which what i'm doing now getting done now fine. so drop it down and then if it's not coming search and then do it now fine. click on search and then click on search now fine. It doesn't come. Otherwise, you go there. Click on OK pattern. So by which we are now completed the schedules. Also, fine. Click on there. It now gives a warning. Now, fine. Doesn't matter. Your warning message is coming. Fine. Because of what happens, the start day is not exactly the Monday. Now, fine. Click on this. Now, fine. This warning is being moved. Yeah. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. The schedule uh, we can give first come, uh, you know, first serve and some of the rules based on the same. That is why the schedule can set up can be. No, it doesn't matter. Fine. Here inventory is going to work twenty four by seven, and so whatever you give inventory will be working. So for inventory, this is not having much of an importance actually. We need to have a schedule. That's it. Whereas in uh, planning, it's not so. It is having a lot of importance in planning actually. So having done these, this is fine. Yeah. Tell sir, me. This is schedule, yeah, for, uh, schedule for uh, uh, inventory. Uh, inventory. Yeah, it's the inventory schedule actually. It's the inventory schedule. Fine. This inventory schedule will be used by the planning module to great extent actually. Not by using fully over someone. Fine. It doesn't matter. Whatever way you give, fine, it will be working 24%. Yeah. That is equivalent to calendar in EBS, I think. Exactly. It is equivalent to calendar of EBS. One day calendar of EBS. Yeah. So we are not completed. So you asked doubts, it doesn't matter. Fine. We have to clarify though, because it is not that my purpose is not only to complete fast, I have to clarify doubt. That is more important than completing it fast actually. Good, good, good. Ask all the questions, whatever you have. So having done this, whatever we go up and then keep going go there. So it has already got deployed and then we'll now go there. Click on it. We'll now go to the manage chart of accounts value sets and then we'll now do it. No, thank you. On it. We'll now go to this place. Fine. So we can now see in this place, what happens. It is not deployed. Complete. Thank you. Okay. No, fine. In this place, first one, I will now go there. It will now give a values for this. No, fine. Go to place. So click us. I will now go on and put our values. So we'll now query my one. Thank you. K01 is on. I'm querying it. No, thank you. Let me query. So the company, I go there, select it and then click on the manage values. No, fine. And click on plus no fine. I'm going to have two companies for this exercise no fine. So 10 and then 10 and then click on plus no fine. I'm going to have one more company. Fine. It is 11, 11. Fine. Click on save and close by which the company values are given now. I will now go to the what about the department fine selected and then click on the manage values on this now. I'm going to get two values. Fine. Click on plus. Ask questions no fine. Doesn't matter if you have. I have to answer the question that is more important than doing it fast actually. 101, 101. And click on save and close. Now I'm not going to have four accounts to begin with, and then we'll be doing a lot of accounts in purchasing actually. Purchasing will be having a lot of accounts, fine with account accounting. And then we are going to work only with four accounts as far as the uh, inventory is concerned, fine, not get more accounts. So 1000, fine, 1000, fine with I will now make it as an asset, no fine, as an asset. And click on plus, no fine. 1001 is a liability actually, fine with account plus. I don't go there. So 1001, 1001. <clears throat> so click on it. I'm now making it as a liability. So click on plus now. <clears throat> 1002. 1002. 1002. Fine. Drop it down. I will now make it as an expense and then go there. I will now click on plus and then I will now make one of them as a wallet. Like, fine. This is a bare minimum account which are required for our transactional systems actually. Fine. Go that I will now make it as what? One is equity. So as a liability expense and one is equity. Fine. Click on seven close by which what happens? We are now completed everything. Seven close. So we are now given all the values for this. We will now go on and create our ledger. Actually. Now go to this place. Now go to this place. And click on done and then come up also whatever you give a done and then come up with So go to space. And then do it now. So click on done. Not coming at all. Come on. Yeah. I'm not open this space. So go to the manage payment ledger. Let us now create a ledger actually. So click on plus. Let us now create our ledger actually. So go there. It is a K01 underscore primary underscore ledger. So take it away. And then put the description now. Chart of accounts is what? Our K01. K01 chart of accounts. And then here, accounting alert is what? Our K01 and go down. K01. Currency is what? US dollars. And then here is a standard. So by which all the four C's are now specified. Fine. Click on save and close by which order on the primary ledger is complete. 
after having done this, what happens? We have to go on one specific electric office, for which also we have to go to the same task, but in the FSM area. Right? It is a scope specific one. The specific area is a scope specific one. So click on done and then come out of it. And then we'll now query the same task, but in this place, fine. Go there, drop it on, and then choose financials. Financials and choose on time. Go and then paste it over here, fine. Entry now, fine. Please mute your mics. You are not speaking to me. So go there. Specific electric options there. I will now go and then select the scope for it. Now, fine. Click on it. Let us know. First of all, select the scope. Fine. Click on it. And then click on apply and go to task. And then here I will now go for what K01 and then entering now fine. It will be getting selected. Select it and then click on save and close. It will be going inside. We are now into the specific ledger options via scope. So we've gone fine for that. So the account is what? 10 iPhone, 100 iPhone, 1003 is the one. And then journal language is going to be American English. And so it's now, it's now taking some time for the system to make a test of it. Now fine. Whether every the account is okay or not, it's not test. And then finally, only what happens? It will be going chakkar chakkar. Afterwards, what happens? It will be coming. <clears throat> so afterwards, what happens? You can choose the journal language as American English and then go on then save and close by which you can now see in the top your ledger, specific ledger options, your private ledger is coming. It has to come fine. So since you are not done this, choose the scope, it has to come on the fine. It is not coming. So go there. Nana, tell me. In this step, we will uh, link LE with primary ledger or no, which is step? We will not be linking LE now, right? The there is the next step actually. Right? You become. So we are now only specifying the ledger options. Now, in the next step, we are going to link the ledger to primary ledger. So it's still taking a longer time now. So sometimes what happens, it takes a longer time. It's now making a verification of 10 iPhone, 100 iPhone, 1003. It's okay or not. So it's there. So early ledger linking is the next step, actually. So click on it, drop it down. I will not choose the American ledger. Somebody is now talking on the group. Please answer them. Somebody please answer. So journal language is American English. Fine. Click on save and close by which what happens. The specific ledger options task is complete. Now what happens, this is the third task in this place. We'll now go to the second one. This is where we are going to assign it, right? When I queried for the managed primary ledger, we got so many things. The third one is a specific ledger options. We select the scope, we enter it. And then assign legal entities, we are going to click on. Already the scope is selected. We can even directly click on the assign legal entities because the scope is already selected. Actually. We will now go on and assign our legal entities. For the ledger legal entity, fine. Click on plus on this now, fine. Let me assign the one. So K01. And then we have got a many to many relationship between ledger and legal entity that we'll be learning it in financials. Fine, click on apply and then click on the fine. So it is not done. So a ledger LE combination is not done. Fine, click on save and close. Now we go to the final task on this. Now fine, go there. So the third task, then the second task, then the fourth task. The third task, second task, and then we go to the fourth task. Fine, click on the fourth one. I'm going to go there. Thank you. I'm going to go to the fourth one now. So go there. So click on plus by which what happens? I'm going to assign this. Now. So drop it down. I will not choose the value as 10 now. Thank you. And then give a save and close. Fine. Not done. So this activity is now complete. Fine, click on save and close. Now fine. Done. <clears throat> So we are not done everything. Then finally, what happens? The review on the submit. So before you review on the submit, see to it that the scope is selected here. Now, my scope is selected. So after having done three activities on the financials area, so click on the review on the submit. By which what happens? We are now completing the final one. This complete the skilled and financial structures is required for our exam. Now, I click on submit. The skilled and exercise is not done. So it's not done. It will be running some three concurrent. Sometimes what happens? There will be ending an error. It doesn't matter as long as you do it. It's okay, fine. Because we are not going to push any value into the financials. It's okay for us. Now, we have done it and it's okay. I mean, this one, go there. So we are not done everything fine. We are not going to create our business unit. So the business unit is a facilitator for all of our activities. Now, fine, go there. So I will now go to the generic area of the task. Fine, click on it. I will now go to space. Fine, click on search. Now, fine. We are going to go to the generic area. Fine, go to the manage business unit. Fine, go so I'll paste it now. Fine, manage business unit. So click on it. We are now going to get that. No, what happens? Business unit. And then majority of the time, it will not be using the common set. And so what happens? What I'm going to do is I will now create my own set and then create my business unit over there now. <clears throat> so click on it. <sighs> So financials will now decide. Business unit, you will not take. The financials will do it. If somebody is writing something, please answer them now. Just please. So you know, doing it. So manage business unit is the one. So we are now going to create our RDS and then afterwards go there. Fine. Drop it down. Let us now create the RDS now. Fine. Over. So click on create by which whatever the RDS gets created actually. RDS needs the set name as capitals actually. Fine. Now it's a layer doing now. Fine. Over. K01 underscore RDS. Fine. Over. So it's the one. So we'll now take a copy of it. Fine. Over. So click on the set name, paste it, and then click on the description, paste it. Now fine. Click on OK by which the RDS is the default set is now created. Now what happens? It is an additional security actually. Fine. Over. Come on. I will now go to the place K01. Fine. I will now what happens? Remove the caps lock. Fine. Go to the one. Fine. It is a business unit. Fine. Over. So I'm not bringing, I'm bringing a business unit. Fine, click on save and close by which what happens? The business unit is not created. So now go back away. Fine, business unit is not created. So afterwards, what happens? We will now come to this a bit later, actually. If required, we will now come to it as well. So 28 and 20 will be explained in the inventory now. Fine, this is already created, actually. We will now go on and create our inventory arc straight away. We'll go there, click on and drop. So click on done, and then we will now create our inventory arc. So go there, click on it. 
So we were all working on this one. Click on search now. <clears throat> now go to this place, man. Please click here. So the inventory org is going to be created. I will now create one master org and then two child org. Now, man, click on this. One master org and then two child orgs. I am going to create now. <clears throat> so go to this place. It's a K01 underscore master org. So go there. So click on it. K01 zero is a one. Man, go there. Click on it. I will now put the K01 and then go tap. <clears throat> so I will now populate my uh, K01. <clears throat> Uh, so click on search now. So it does. It normally when you tab it out, it will be coming. Click on search now. So it's not coming. So that means what? I have made a mistake on the naming now. Uh, I might have made some mistake. Click on the Click on the query. Make zero one. Let's see what the what the mistake I've done. So click on done and then come out of it. It is still not working. Fine. This screen is lost actually. Fine. Let us now close it. So when this list is also lost. Now. So I'll now go there, click on right click and then duplicate now. So sometimes what about the systems, the screens are getting lost actually. So sometimes it will be a browser problem also. So we have to live with all these things. Click on it. Now go to this place. Now go to the setup and maintenance. <clears throat> setup and maintenance. And then here, whatever we go there. I will now go to the task. Click on search. So at this place, whatever I will now make two more screens now. I will now duplicate and then keep it now. Click on duplicate. And then right click and then duplicate. So I will now keep some more. I will now have the manage business unit or okay, manage inventory or not manage inventory or so I will now go to the manage business unit because business unit is now giving a problem now. I don't know what is the problem here now. Uh, manage business unit is the one point. Take copy bit, you know, paste it over here. We will now query your business unit, we will now see whether it is all okay or not. So it's a K01 is the one fine entry now. So we will now see whether the business unit is not properly is not paired properly when fine. There is no problem at all. I click on that. So there may be a, what happens uh, this may be what's called a screen problem actually on the phone. I will not go back here. You have to go back via this now. Thank you. Now to go back via this. That may be a screen problem also. You're not coming. So let us now go there, take a copy of the manage inventory org. So let us now create the inventory org. I have to create one master and child now. Thank you. I will not click on plus now. Thank you. So now itself I will now populate the K01 and see whether it's coming or not. And this place. The business unit I have now given a plus now. So before I put the name, I will now check the BU is coming or not first of all. <clears throat> The view has to come on time. So the previous one does not coming. Actually, the view was not coming. It may be a screen problem. Otherwise, what happens? I'll be switching over to some other instance and then try it now, actually. So go there. Click on it. It is a key zero one and then give a tap. You now see if it comes or not. It was not coming previously. Oh, God. It is not done at all. It's not coming at all. So cancel my time. So drop it down and then choose it. I'm going to make a search now here. So what is the problem now? <clears throat> There is some problem here. So click on search and then make a find the find. So click on search. It is not coming. So let us now create one more business unit for this moment. So something has happened during creation actually. Since I am doing fast, I might have made some mistake here and there. I will now go to the generic area of the search. No fine. A task search. I will now go there. I will now go to the manage. So not this one. No fine. Manage business unit. So let me create a new business unit again now. Because I am unable to use this. No fine. So let me get the new business unit. <clears throat> so click on plus now. I will now create a new one now. Drop it down. And then I will now create a what's called a thing now. I will now say it's a K01 underscore RDS underscore two now. Fine. The second one I'm creating it actually. So take off it. So put on the set name and then put on the description. Now click on OK. So I will now say it's what is going to be K01 underscore business underscore. Unit underscore two now, fine. So business unit is having a problem. LE is also having a problem, fine. LE is now one, and then it is one, fine. Click on save and close now, fine. Okay. <clears throat> so K01 is now getting created. Go there. We'll now go there, click on it. We'll now make a search of it, now, fine. Click on it. We'll now make a search. Click on search now. Now it's coming on the K01 business unit two has to come now, fine. Oh, the art is not coming at all. Then I cancel and come back. Huh? Cancel and then come back. Okay, fine. We'll now cancel it. Done. <clears throat> I will not use this one. I will not say cheapo to this. I will not go to the final one. I will not go there. Keep on it. Let us now go and then create a new one. I keep on it. Save and close. Sometimes what happens if such a problem is this, you have to log out and log into what happens the system to register it actually. I will not log out and log in also. So I will not go to the what? The manage inventory organization. I will take it off. I will not go there. So paste it over here. I click on it. So manage inventory organization. I will not go and then try to create the fact on plus one. <clears throat> So go there. The K01 and then give it app. It's still not coming. So let me log out and log in. So sometimes what happens is that log out and log in also may 
whatever they solve your problems actually and sign out and sign in so some of them needs whatever is a registration of the bank account so we'll not go and sign we will now go and create our inventory or directly <clears throat> so click on it now go to this place so go to the setup and mechanics and then we will now create our inventory or so click on it so click on search now fine i will now go to the manage inventory or entry manager Sometimes sign out and sign in will be working actually. So now first of all put my K01 now and we'll click on it. So K01 is the one. I give it a tap now. Oh God, it is not coming at all. Nana, assign B U business function. You you did it or? Which one, which one? Assign business unit business yes, function. Yes, exactly. Very correct. I made a mistake here now. Actually, yes, beautiful. Fine. Abu Bakar is very correct actually. Fine. So what I did this. After having done the business unit, I have not done the assign business unit business function. This I have missed it actually. Right? Good, 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 good. <laughs> this is the one which is. Like Mama, one. Yeah. Mama. Hmm. Also, uh, uh, did we complete this review and submit accounting configuration that is, concurrently? That, that I have done. No, fine. The concurrents are running. Even if it fails, it doesn't matter. This is the one. Abu Bakar is very correct. I have not done this actually. You must okay. So I should not do it. It is a scope so big object. You should not do it. No, fine. Click on it. So I have not done this actually. So I have to go via this. No, fine. Very correct. Good now, man. So, me to I'm old man here, man. I'm not remembering things actually. <laughs> this task I have forgot, man. So because of it, it is not coming. So this is one good, good, good observation. Man. Keep on applying. Go to task. <clears throat> Go there. I will not put the K zero one itself and enter now, man. I will not choose my first one itself. I will not do the second one. This one itself will be okay. Man. So the first one itself I will not choose it, man. Not. So I have to enable this one. Middle management, I'm enabling it. Payables invoicing, payables payment. And then uh, procurement, requisitioning, and receiving. Of okay. requisitioning and receiving. This much is sufficient for the streaming. Okay. It is basically modular in nature. At this point, now we can even keep on adding. So, so go there. So I will not drop down. And then K zero one is the one thing you would have. K zero one. Drop it down and then choose it. Now, okay. good observation, Abu Bakar. So click on it. I will not choose the primary letter over here. Okay. Click on it. Okay. And then put a tick mark. This will be dealing it later on. Okay. Click on save and close. What exactly is the motion? So it is not done. No point. Click on it. So in the meantime, what I will do is I will not. What I will right click on the duplicate. Fine. So two three screens. Let me keep it. No point. So that we can work fast. Actually, fine. So now I go to the generic area and then I will not create our inventory or. So that was a mistake actually. Now it is. I will not go on then create my one master and then two child. Fine. Click on it. Manage inventory organization. Fine. No point. So click on plus. No point. I am not going to create my master. Or. So go there. Is a K zero one underscore master or. Master or oh, yeah. caps A zero one underscore master or okay. so I will now keep it on the what's called description also. Yeah. So in the description order the organization code one K zero one zero is the one. And, uh, here I will put K zero one it will be done. So it will be done. So go there. So I will now have this now. I will now put the location as a zero location of another. So K zero one will be there. So the zero location I am going to put on a zero location. <clears throat> So go to the legal entity and drop down. It's becoming automatically, and because a ledger LE is already done. Now I'm going to click on next now, and then here I'm going to put the master itself. Now the same org I'm going to put it. So I'm that becomes the master now. So the org I'm creating is what is a K zero one. Now I'm going to click the mistake I did. I have to come back. Nana, what what is the profit center? Profit center will be learning it later. Now I'm not now. What exactly did I learn? Teach you later. So go there. So the master org will come. So we will not give a back, you know, fine, you know, back, and then we will not correct it also. Uh, okay, it is not executing correctly. It is not got registered. So what happens? I have to put the K zero one. So a mistake here. It is not accepting that. Fine, we have to uh, we have to live with the mistake actually. Fine, you know, so I will not put this as a E. You now fine, you know, it is a K zero one. Fine, don't make such mistakes like me. You now fine, I am a teacher. I can make any number of mistakes, but you are not supposed to make mistakes. So put the schedule, and then I made a mistake here. Fine, what else? Fine, right. drop it down. I will now locate the control determinant. It's happening on the best level. Enable these two, and then give a save. Now, fine. Right. Which one? The master is now created. Okay, okay. The order of revision cannot be small. Now, fine. Right. The and cap day I'm giving it now. Fine, click on save and close. It is not done. So the master org is now created. K zero one is my master org, but the code is correct. Fine, click on now. I will not do that. So click on plus now. I will now create my first child over here. So what? So it's a K zero one underscore. <clears throat> Child underscore R, so I will not say is a capital Z zero one one now. Yeah, Z zero one one. Fine, is a K zero one of the one thing that happened. It's coming. 
So go there, K01 is a one point. I will now put the location number one now, point on location number one. Point. Okay, no. So click on next and then go there. You must enter the legal entity. So drop it on. We will now choose the legal entity. The profit center of business will be coming. Click on next now. Point. Here we are going to put the same master R now. Point. The child R, I will now say KA01. So that means what? This and this are different is a child org actually. If I drop it down, I will now come to it a bit now. Next week, you are going to see what is the reference org actually. We are now going to make everything as a definition org only. Fine. I will now make it as a B now. So it is a K01. Thank you for tab now. So make it as what? Look at it and then select it. And then give a save and close. Maybe whatever. The first child is created. So let us now go there and then create the final one now. The final, log, final child org. It's a K01 underscore child underscore two now. It is a K012. Go there, click on it. It is a K01 and go tap. So here, the business unit is to come. No, K01, no, second one. So everything is a one is to one now, fine. You should not club at all, fine. Second to second, first to first, you do it very properly. If you make a mistake, it'll be giving now, fine. So click on it. Somebody's mic is on, please what I'm saying, mute it so that what I'm saying, don't be disturbing others actually. Whenever you want to speak, you can open up and then speak. Somebody has put in something on the chat, please talk to me now, fine. I cannot have. See the chat at all. So please speak to me straight away. <clears throat> so definition of yeah. so here it is what is going to be C now. Kind of what the K01 give it up. And then I will now make the locator control treatment. I will now put these two things now. Kind of so enable this normally. Save and close by which what happens? We are now completed the inventory org creations of the inventory orgs are created. Kind of Afterwards, what happens? We will now go there. So we have to what happens again do the locations and go there and then tie it actually. Now to go and then tie it now. Kind of we will not do perform the tie actually. <clears throat> so click on it. We will not go to the setup and maintenance and then we will not perform the tie actually. <clears throat> so click on it. We will not go to the search now. Fine. Click on it. I will not go to the locations and then perform a tie. <clears throat> so go to the manage locations and then query your locations and then perform a tie. Actually. So K01 is the one. So the K01. So the location uh, organization tie is a must in fusion actually. Fine. It has to be tied. Even though we are given the appropriate locations only. Fine. So click on it. I will now go to the edit and then perform an update now. Fine. I will go to perform an update. Click on OK now. Fine. So we are going to do it now. Fine. So the zero the location is becoming, it has to be associated with the master org actually. We had associated with the master org. I am in the zero location now. So zero location has to be associated with the master org. So go there. In the organization, what happens is if you put K01, it will show all the orgs. Fine. You wait for it. It will go on. Why the master org is not coming? There is again a mistake now. Fine. Oh, it is a, it is a master org is not K01, it is a K01. And I made a mistake actually. So because of it, it is not coming. So I will not put the master. My naming is wrong. Now. Location to KR. Fine. Click on submit. Fine. By which it is not done. <clears throat> so it is not done. Fine. Click on OK. Fine. <clears throat> so it will now go on. Then do the second. What was the inventory or something. So the location organization tie is not done now. Somebody is asking why do you have to give the location or tie for the master? But it is preferable to do it. Fine. I am not very sure about it. So if you don't do it, what will happen? I am not very sure. But it is preferable to do it. Now. Tie every each and everything. So go there. So here, what happens? The first location I'm going to take it. So go there. Is a K zero one? Yeah, tell me, tell me. Tell me. The child one, no point. The child. Yeah, no, no. One question. One second, one second. I know made what happens. I have not made it the child one actually. Child org. I made it. No point. Okay. So we have to use it only. Fine. We have no other. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Keep on telling. Keep on speaking to me. Thank you, I'm I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Tell me. Yeah, no, no. As a consultant, like, who will be the responsible for creating LE Ledger? And LE Ledger, you will not create. Only the financial team will create. You will not be getting Okay. You, okay. If, so if you know it, you will, understand about how they are doing it now. Okay. So we will create from inventory, right? Inventory or, yeah. From inventory or onwards, you will be creating it. Okay. Okay. So K01. Sir, sir for our, our, for Nana, sir, uh, location zero will not be used for any transactions, right? Because yeah, it is connected yeah. to masters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyhow, you tie it fine because I am not very sure about whether if you don't tie it, what will happen? I'm not sure about it, but preferably you tie it. Tying is no harm now, fine. It will not take much of a second, 30 seconds only, it will not take. So, so everything. So, we'll now go on and create our what happens. I was saying, fine, what not. So, manage sub the locators from what not. So, to begin with, what happens? I will not create uh, sub unit is only in one R, not fine, nothing else. It's a K011 in the first R. Second R, we can do it later now. Fine. While you're doing expressway, what happens? It is not required immediately. Fine, what not. I will not give a plus. Not fine. I will not go on again. Only one submitted to create. Not fine, so go to the K01 one underscore RMS1. Fine, that is sufficient. Later on, you can create. So let us not complete the structure creation fast. 
and then go there case zero one click it up automatically the tight location will become fine click on seven floor by which order this activity is complete now fine we are now created only one sub unit that's sufficient to begin with later on when uh, the real requirement comes at the time automatically you create one more sub unit <coughs> so go there click on it so it's not done fine click on again fine so click on done and then come out of it sub unit is created from there we'll now go on then create a job we are now jumping into acharam as something so paste it over fine now create job so go to the match jobs and then here also i'm going to get only one one now fine because you know you're not going to go for any hierarchical approval actually so 1151 common set go there is a k01 underscore jm now so click on next now fine go so code is also must fine take away remember the code now and then click on next now <coughs> you go there and then here i will now make it as a full time and regular <coughs> full time and regular so we are now creating a job and then one department and then one position fine that is sufficient actually for this now and then we can directly उंटिंग्री <laughs> So in case if you want to uh, track, no, I don't know planning. I'm so I'm not aware of it. No, fine. So anybody who knows planning, you ask them about how they do the power replenishment setup in planning. Actually, I'm not aware of planning. Actually, so click on it. So go to the department. The plot is not done. In yeah, I tell me. In the retail type of industries, uh, similar to in our day and another thing. Yeah. Uh, it, it belongs to warehouse setup, I guess. The inventory organization. This is. Hey, yeah, everything is warehouse only. Inventory is only a warehouse setup. Inventory is basically a warehouse only. So click on it. Whether it is a retail or even a manufacturing industry or whatever it is, it's only a warehouse. It is called as a warehouse whenever you are going to ship it to the customers. No, fine. It is called as a raw material organization when you are going to receive it. It is going to be called as a manufacturing unit when you are going to manufacture it. Inventory or depending upon the usage, it will be having a different different need. See, I am a, what's called a teacher for you. I am a husband for my wife, and then I am a father for my daughter. So I go different different names. Likewise, inventory or will be called as a warehouse or a My or the raw material stores or there is a manufacturing unit. Got it? So, so it's all one and the same, right? That is for everything is the same. Right? Whether you call me as a teacher or whether my wife call me as a husband or whatever it is, I I am only referred to. Right? No nobody else is referred to. Actually. Referencing is the same person only. So I will not choose this. Not that kind of thing. So it's a business unit. Fine. Go that kind of thing. The K zero one underscore junior manager mechanical. So fine. Click on next. Yeah. You are referencing the same inventory org only, whether it be the warehouse or it's going to be whatever it is from the department. So K zero one of the one kind of data. Any doubts you can ask me. Then I will clarify. So then go there. So the job is coming. Fine, go there. Make it as a none here, and then make it as approved here. Now fine, click on approved, and then full time equivalent for purchasing purposes. We need ten corn, ten people. Now fine, come on. No doubt. Fine, click on something. Now fine. Nana. Yeah, tell me. We link job and position here, right? Na? Yeah, position. Uh, I know we, we, are, we are not creating a position, but we are not going to associate employee here. Employee cannot be associated. Yeah, yeah. but what I am saying is, you link the job with position here, right? Yeah, job is now given when you are creating the position. Job when you are creating the position, when you are creating the position, we are associating a job because it's a mandatory. Okay, why we need to do it later? Yeah, I because we are going to associate it to the user now. Right? Later on, we will uh -huh. be associating user. So at the time, what? Uh -huh. Users uh -huh. can be given a position when that is required only for purchasing, not for this exercise. But I am not teaching on always. Every user has to have a position as far as purchasing is concerned. Now, fine. That is where they use it. And click on this. So I am now going to go and then create our user actually. Now go and then create our user. <coughs> so the user is now getting created actually. So we will now give a user. The user will be having an association to LBU, and so all supply chain users must be created via managed users or through HCM. Human capital management is also having a now fine through that here it is. MP one and then K zero one underscore. So I will now give it. What I'm going to do that K zero one underscore EMP one at the rate gmail dot com. Something I'm going to get. So I'm now going to give a user name. So it's a K zero one underscore EMP one. One if our easy understanding of doing it, but in reality you have to talk to the final guy. The what I'm going to end users and then accordingly give the naming. Okay, naming you have to follow as per the end client. So K zero one and then the legal name will be coming. Business unit is what K zero one. The business unit will be coming. <coughs> the job is what K zero one. We have only one job available there now. Thank you for knowing it. So department is what K zero one. 
It will be coming up more than more points. So it's not coming. <coughs> so the department is not going Fine, click on save and close by which what happens? The user is not created. So the next step is what? We have to go on and give what the full, this thing of mine. This is no more required actually. Fine, it's no more required. Uh, as I no, no, it, is, it will not do it later. Fine, not do it later. So we'll now first of all give the roles to the people. Now, fine. So it is now getting done. Now, fine. Now go to the next place. Now, so I'll now go to the tools, and then we'll now go to the security. And that kind of so I'll now go to the tools, and then we'll now go to the security console, and then we'll now give that what's called the roles to the user. Actually, so take on it. I will now go to the user area straight away. Let me go to the user. Now, fine. The manager users by this time, what happens? It'll be getting completed. It's now coming, coming, coming. And go that so we'll now go to the security as well. Find this place. Please answer the queries in the group. Actually, fine. Somebody is asking something. Please answer. So click on OK and then go to the users. Now fine, click on the users. So that query your user. So now query user, fine. K01 is one. Enter in now. User is running. So the first activity is to what? Reset the password actually. Because the manager is still creating it actually. Fine. So the creation. So the user creation is long, is screen is not taking a longer time actually. I know that. So only when it's done, what happens? It will be visible on the security console. Fine. Not visible at all. So we had to wait for the screen to complete. Fine, it's not completed. We can go there, click on it. I will not click on magnifier now. K01 magnifier is not coming. Fine, click on it. Click on the hyperlink of the user and then reset the password first. Fine, that's the first activity. Fine, click on reset the password. So we're going to reset the password fine, manually. And then let us now go there. Fine. It is welcome. One, two, three, fine, go there. So it has to match. If you are making a mismatch, it will not save at all. Both the things, new password, everything has to click on this. We're not doing it now. So let us now go there, edit, and then we'll now give the roles for this user actually. So click on edit now. I'm going to get the roles. <clears throat> so go there. So click on add role. And then we'll now come over here. Fine. Application implementation content will not take it away. We'll now go there. Paste it over here, over. application implementation component. I will not choose the over arm of it, over arm. And click on add role, and you know, now go there. Go to the IT security manager, and take copy it, now go there, and then give it now, and paste it over here, IT security manager, over arm, <clears throat> and click on it. I will now go to add roles. So go there, employee. So take the copy it, and go there. So I will now give the employee. <clears throat> employee of over arm, and over arm. So click on it, add roles. Afterwards, what happens, I will now go there. Advanced procurement request is required because we are going to push it into purchasing all points required for the workers. So, over so up, <clears throat> so click on it. Now go on and give it now. So inventory manager is the one. I will now give the inventory manager over up. Now, over up, now we're going to choose it. Thank you, sir. Come and add the roles. So, we're not done. Receiving agent is required. We need the receiving agent for this training. is required. So, of the over up, I'm choosing it now. I paste it and then it will be coming. Thank you. Okay, fine. We're not done. And then, of course, warehouse manager is also required for this training. So, I will now go there, paste it over here, and click on it. I will now choose the ORA and click on it. And then click on add ORA worksheet. So, go there. This is not required. Fine. Here, what happens? I will now add what happens? The human resource specialist, fine. Human, R E S O U R C E, resource specialist. You have to keep on writing, it will be coming. Fine. R E S O U R C E, now, fine. Specialist. If you keep on writing, it will be coming. So, human resource specialist of ORA, you have to go into add now. Thank you, Monica. So this role is must not. That is for position assignment, actually. This custom is not required. So procurement manager is also required because you're going to make a purchase order also. So we are going to make a purchase order for which is required. Fine. Select it and then click on OK. Now fine. Click on it. Not a, <clears throat> not go there. Not a, this is not required. I'm not going to push it to payables. I'm not going to do it. Now fine. So I will now go to the product data steward and then I will now add it. Now fine. Click on it. I will now paste it over here. Product data steward. Ora. <clears throat> Select it and then click on add role. And then go there. Supplier manager. And we need to create a supplier, otherwise, what happens? We won't be working at all. And then supplier manager, thank you. And then select it and then click on edit. And then supplier administrator also is required for supplier creation. Actually, we'll be having a look at it later. later on. So click on it. No go click on it. I'll now add it. And then this is required. Normally, when you want to push it into payables, fine. When you want to push it into payables, these two roles are required. Even though I'm not going to use it in this exercise, you'll not just add it. Whenever you want to push it into payables, these two roles are required. Click on it. Go there, click on it. Uh, no, paste it over here. No, fine. General accounting manager. No, so click on it. Add role membership. It's all done. No, fine. So click on done and then come out of it and then give a save and close by which what happens? We have completed everything. Else. Now we are going to log in as a new user. No, new user. So let it get completed and then afterwards we will not log in. No, fine. We will now close other screens for it. No, fine. No, fine. So after this place, what happens? We will now log in as a new user. No, fine. Click on done and then come out of it. No. And then we have to run the what's called this is also fine. LDAP also you run it. So that what happens, whatever you have done the setup, it will all be visible on the transaction system section. So go to the tool and then it goes to the schedule the process. We will now run the import user role and then LDAP. There are the two concurrent which are now on the schedule process. Let us now run the import user role so that the setup will be synced into the transaction system. 
import percentage, user percentage, role percentage. So it takes a longer time. I don't know why it's so long. So this is a problem. <clears throat> it takes a longer time. So it is preferable and customary to what happens to run this concurrent actually. So once it is done, what happens will be done. So afterwards, what happens, you will now jump into the supplier. What happens, you are existing, no fine. You are purchasing setups on this, no fine. So import user rules. <clears throat> it takes a longer time actually. I, I'm not, even if I drop it down on the choose also, it's taking a long time. So somebody please analyze and tell me how to make it fast actually. I'm not coming at all. So in the meantime, what happens, I'll not go there. I will now open up this on another instance, on another room, another browser. You know, so that what happens, you know, make our work fast now if I click on it. So let me go into this now. And so I will not go to this place and paste it over. So let me, uh, what happens, I'll log in here now and this user find it. The K01 underscore EMP one of the one point is a welcome one, two, three, and in it caps. So click on sign in now. By HMO, right? now remember the password. Right? So let us now go there and then assign the position first of all to the employee. Actually. For the employee, what happens? I'm assigning the position. So what we do, what happens? I'm doing. And click on the home now. Right? You now go to the what's called the person management because we are still unable to give this now. Right? And now click on the home now. Right? And then we will not simply submit it, it doesn't have any parameters actually. So, this is now going to sync everything into the transaction system. So, we will now go to this place. No, thank you. Go to this place. No, no, there. So, I will now go to what my client groups and then person management. Fine, no, that's what I will now give the position for this employee. Actually, let me query the employee. No, so, employees has to be queried as what last name, comma, first name. That is the way you query it actually. No, so, my client groups and click on the person management. It is not it coming. No, See that syncing is not happening. So that is why it is not coming to the screen at all. <clears throat> so let us now wait for it. Let us now do it. So let us now begin with the purchasing setup and then come back here. Now. So specific supply numbering, I'm not going to do it. This also, I'm not going to do it. This also, no. In the payment terms, we'll now do it later. Now. So transit times and carriers. Now. I will now first of all define the carriers. Let us now go there and then define the carriers required for our exercise actually. Set up and maintenance. And the carrier is to be defined. Now. So click on it. I click on it. And then go to the search. Now. Click on it. I will now go on the define my carriers. So let me get the carrier and then transit terms. So click on plus and then I will now define the carrier. So I will now say it's a K01 underscore DHL. DHL is the one. And the one. So go to this place, actions, and add row is not coming. So you had to click outside and then only add row will be there. Click on add row. And then I will now choose one of them to find. In the transportation management, they will now teach you a lot on this now, right? When you undergo this training. So what? And click on plus and then it may add to both the odds. There's a K01 and then click on search, it will not show both the arcs. I will not select both the child arcs. So click on apply and then click on apply. So click on save and close by which what happened? The carrier is now defined. You will not go there. You will not take the transit terms. After the carrier is defined, the transit terms. Click on done apply. So now go on and define our carrier transit terms. So go to this place, find the <coughs> manage transit terms. So let me create a what happens? A movement between second location to first location. Right? Click on plus number. No the second to first location, you will do it. No so click on plus and then I'll now put the second location to first location. So go there, click on it. I will now say it's the internal location. Find that. So here the origin is what K01 and then give it a It will now show the location. So I click and I will now choose the second location. And then the destination going to also going to be internal. Find drop it on. It is an internal location. So click on the destination find that K01 is the one find give it is the first location actually. I choose the first location, click on OK now. Fine. And then I'm going to assign the shipping method now. So click on it. I don't know. I'll go to the action, I'm going to assign shipping method. And then we already have a DHL shipping method. Find watch or you go there. And then K01 is done. And then here I have now making it as a four days or five days. And then the default is a must actually. Otherwise, it will not work fine. The transfer order will fail if you don't have a default now. Fine. Click on OK. Now. Must. And then having done this, what happens? You give a save and close and the right as a top. So by which what happens? This setup is now complete now. Don't go there, click on it. Don't go to this place. This is not required actually. This is, this is not required. And then the numbering also, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to use the one, two, three numbering. Fine, I'm not going to give any numbering at all. This is not required. This is not required. This is, this is also what happens. I'm not going to do anything at all. Fine, no. I will now, this is also not required. I will now go straight away to this one. Go to the manage. What happens? The common options for payments of return. Some of them are not required for our immediate access. And go to that so manage common options for payments of return. Don't go there. Don't go to this place. And then do it. <clears throat> and then click on it. I will now set up this. No, so it's a what K01 and then give it a tap. You are not choosing a big. 
So I will not choose this business unit. That's the one I'm using in my account. Second part. So go there. Is what ten iPhone, hundred iPhone, one thousand, one is the one. So you will not take a copy of it. You will not put the same account everywhere. Whereas in reality, you will have to put different different accounts. So only the mandatory fields I am filling it up. So only the mandatory fields I am filling it up. Paste it over here. So go down. So the rounding I am putting it up. Uh, go there. I will not paste it over here. So whatever is mandatory, I am filling it up. And then the built location I will not put my first location. Over here. So that also they will tell you. So that's it. Go there. So click on save and close by which we are not trying to complete this one now. So at this time, it will not throw an error that immediate is not having your uh, or RDS actually. So in immediate, we will not insert an RDS. And then if you are having a problem that you are unable to insert the RDS on this place, fine. You watch my record and then I give you a correction also. So this capital I start on. We will not having a problem. I will not go to this place. So click on it. I will not go to this place. And then go to the setup and maintenance and then on the Chrome, I will not set it up. Let me set it up on the Chrome. And click on search. Go like now. I will not say it is a manage percentage, fine. pay percentage, term percentage, fine. manage payment, correct. Yeah. It's a manage payment term, then there's a receivable zone, there's the payable zone, thank God. Let me query the immediate actually. And over. So this is the IMM, this is the one now, thank you. Thank you. So I will not add an RDS to this now. So sometimes you will not be able to add the RDS. I will not give a solution also, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we'll not see whether the same problem comes to me or not. Fine. So I will not go up. I have given a plus already and drop it on. So we had to have our K01 RDS. So here it doesn't come at all for some people. Not. If it is not coming, you do which is what the video, then do it now. So go there. So I will not have whatever the K01 RDS. Which one I used? Anybody remembering it? So I know used RDS too. And I'm not sure about it. So I don't, don't find it. So click on it. Uh, I want you know, click on save and close now. Fine. So we'll now go to this place and then we'll now again do it. Now. So click on OK now. Fine. I will now click on the manage common options. So the same values will be coming automatically. Fine. Click on save and close now by which what happens here. Now see, it is not accepting it actually. Fine, but not. It is not accepting it. So here in this place, what happens? I will not put the other audios also. Because I have a doubt that which one I am not using. Fine. Click on plus now. Fine. I will not use the RDS one also. It is RDS one. Easy. Because I am making a mistake here and there. Fine, but not. So A B C D F G H I J K. <clears throat> Uh, the one. RDS also let me use it. So click on save and close. So both the RDS I've inserted. I will not go here and find the one. So click on uh, so save and close again. You must see whether it accepts it. In the so it accepts it immediately. Click on save. So you're not doing anything at all. Fine. You have to cancel. Not fine. You have to cancel. And then again, come back inside. Not fine. But sir, where is the Im immediate here? Immediate one. I didn't only on the immediate one. So the immediate one. Where, where, where is that here in common option? It is not there. That is the beauty of it. It is not there at all. It doesn't. So how, how it's linked? It is. A, you have to talk to financiers. How they are linking it to immediate? You talk to them. They will tell you. Okay. Okay. Man. Talk to them. They will tell you. So now keep on adding more pages over here. I will now come over here and then I will now go to the manage common options for payables and procurement and set up the menus. We will now go to the search now. Fine, over there. Take up the call. I will not take up this now. Fine, take up it. Go there. So paste it over here. Fine, click on it. So I will not. I will not say key zero one. I will give it up. The one now. Fine, click on it. And then the liability account. Good question, Abu Bakar. Fine. I don't know that. That is the biggest problem. How come this is referencing that uh, immediate? Fine. Somewhere, some setup is there in the financial section. So the discount sticker is this now, and then I will not click on this realize to get any mass content. So yet, whatever I will put K01 and give a tap. So I'm not coming. So is the locked one I'm doing it if I click on save, save Muruga or Allah. You see it and then click on save. It has to get saved now. It got saved actually. I don't know which audience is responsible for it. Something is responsible. It's okay. So it's not an afterwards what happens. You go there. Configure procurement repositioning business function of the one time you like it. Not it's okay. Configure repositioning business function. So click on it. So now go there and then configure it. Drop it off and then choose it now. The P01 business unit. Here you're going to put a master. I'll be explaining this in the in the procurement, in the purchasing training actually. In this place, what happens? I'm going to put the master of you. I will not explain you why you are putting the master of later on. Ah, where is my master? Oh, it's not a case. You don't want to do the key. I made a mistake. 
So key, the most one, the most one. Okay. And everything is okay, fine, brother, if you want it. Uh, and then click on save and close. Okay. The requisitioning business function is now safe. And then after you go to the procurement business function, take copy, now go there. Paste it over here, fine, click on it. So configure procurement business function. <clears throat> so drop it down and then go down, fine, brother. So go down. And then key is the one doing it. Click on okay, now. Does it check whatever you're doing it. So here also, we are going to put the same master or go here now. And the procurement business function is going to be the <clears throat> So go to this place here, or whatever the K01 is the one. I'm going to choose the master or oh, another key. So K K is the one. So the line type is going to be goods now. Yeah. Goods. And then currency is going to be US dollars. US dollars. So yeah. payment terms is what immediate. You choose the immediate. Shipping method is okay, fine. So I'm say K01. We have a shipping method on K01. I'm going to put it on here. Freight terms, I have not done it. Man. I'm going to one of them. Whatever is existing here, okay? And the FOB is also, whatever. We will now be discussing about it more in the payment. Okay? So click on save and close by which, what happens there? The procurement, configure procurement business function is now saved. Now, what happens? We go to the manage item class and then we'll now create our templates actually. We'll now go to the manage item class. Man. So now to create our template. So we'll now select the root item class and then click on edit. And then I have not created any, what happens in your uh, <coughs> uh, uh, life cycle period, I have not created it. We can directly go to the template. We'll now use it for the existing system. In reality, you have to create one life cycle page and then insert it over here. Okay? In the training, it's okay. We have, we have it ready. And that. So I will now go to the query by example. And then let me query it. Okay? So the organization is what? K010. And then I'm going to query by purchase. Okay? P-U-R. And then enter it. Okay? Go to the query by example. And then enter it. It will be coming. Okay? So K010. What is it? Ah, it is not coming. Okay. Let me go Come on, why it's not coming? I think it's not in the wrong field. Uh, it's the wrong field. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm in the wrong field. Who is this now? Good, good, good. <laughs> good observation. Now. <clears throat> I was in the wrong field now. Fine. I had to be in the organization field. Yes, correct. Select it now. Fine. You know, like, you know. So go to this place. I will not make it back. If I life cycle phase, I will not choose one of them. Now. Fine. Not, 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 not. Primary units are made each now. E, e and E. So go this place and I will not make it as a primary. Right. Pricing is primary, but then conversion is going to be good. Now we will not have it's a very tough topic actually. We'll be having a look at it now. Keep on the specifications. And then we are not going to give a list price, and apart from that, nothing will be done. So go on and then go to the purchasing. And then we will not give a list price of 10 actually. For the purchasing. List price, I'm going to give it. And then right hand side bottom, you go there and then enable all the data. This is an addition when compared to eBay. We are not having this in there. So we, in uh, ebus at all, fine, there's an additional inclusion. And that's it. Fine, click on save and close by which what happens? Your this thing is not now. Oh god, I should not save and I do one more thing also. Let me come come back again and then do it. I do one more thing, fine. Click on it. So click on it, I do one more thing also. After having done this, I'll not go there. And then query was not fine. Go to the template, then let me query my template. So I'm not querying template. Organization what K010 and query for it. So there's a purchase data for it. You are fine. Double query here to make it name. So go to select it. And then here I'm not going to edit now. I keep on edit. And then I will now name it differently from the the key zero one. So the description also I'm going to put k zero one. And then I will now enable the set as a default fine. Okay, fine. Yes. No doubt. Now what is the significance of this time? This uh, whenever you're uh, creating an item, this will be defaulting onto your item. That's it. So to make it as a default, and then with our own name, it will be coming. So having done this, what happens? We'll now go there. We'll now go to the next place. Now we have created an item. So click on that now. Let us now go on and create item. Yeah. Your voice is breaking. Please, please make your mic sound. I think very proper now. Otherwise, I cannot hear you. So Sir, you know, but, uh, yeah, tell me. Sir, uh, from the inventory print, ABC classification of material yeah. or item will yeah. get a so uh, do we have any setup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a setup for ABC. We have a setup for ABC. We're going to see it now, fine. You just see my agenda find that we are having this. So I will now go to this place, find what I want. Do we classify any, uh, uh, which item? Uh, category? Yeah, 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 yeah. We will be having a look at it at the time. At the time, you talk you talk to us, you speak about it. It's already there, fine. Go to the favorites. You speak about it when you are talking about ABC. Fine. 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 F
all your questions you can address at the appropriate time. So in the, in the item master setup. In the master setup, setup, we don't have anything on ABC. No, fine. Even in EPS also, we don't have anything on ABC. ABC classification is not there in the master at all. Got it? A zero one zero the one. So the item class has to come up and it's coming. Time to come up. Otherwise, we have to go on and remove the governance and consolidation. Otherwise, and do that not. I will now create my first item over here. Now, time to come up. I will now create my first item. So go there, click on it. So the first item is going to be created. Is that key zero one zero one? Right. I will now say first item. I will now what happens first item. I am now creating my first item actually. Fine. Zero one is the first item. I take a word and I go to the description of time. So I will now go to the associations and then let me associate with the child dog. I will now associate with the child dog. Go to the action, I'm going to select that. So I'm going to associate with the first child dog. Fine. If the key zero one is the one fine entry now. I will now associate with the first child, child dog. Fine. So click on apply and then click on done now. Fine. So the first item is now created and assigned. And then we have to give the manage mapping set for performing a transaction actually. <coughs> so click on done fine. So the item is now getting created and then assigned fine. So click on save and close. So we have to set up a mapping set so that what happens, we can now perform the transaction actually. So it is now going, 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 go away. So once it is done, what happens there? And click on it. We will now go to the FSM area and then we will now give the manage mapping set actually. FSM area will be done with that. So I will now choose the final go to the Manufacturing and supply chain management. In this place, what happens? I go there, go to the management set, I go to the manage percentage, map the percentage, set percentage behind the management set to one. So I will not choose the cost accounting of it. Now I click on cost accounting, I'm choosing it. Fine. So the scope selection has to be cost management actually. Fine. Go that point. Select that and then click on apply and go to ask. I will choose the scope as cost management actually. Is the cost management. Select the scope as cost management. And then click on seven close for which what happens. The inventory valuation account has to be set actually. We have to set up an inventory valuation account and now create another one. Click on search now. We are going to drop it down and then choose the inventory valuation account. And inventory valuation account. So we have to add our what's called your COA and then give a value. So go to the inventory valuation. I will now click on the hyperlink of it and then we will now add the chart of accounts of ours. So if you put K0, it will automatically go there. Now. K and 0 immediately put it will be coming over there. Select it and then once when you select it, you can now see the selection the coming in the bottom also. Whatever you're selecting, it will be coming in the bottom. You had to ensure it and click on plus now. Fine. I'm going to use account for all the orgs now. Fine. So 10 iPhone, 100 iPhone, 1000 is all. Fine. Click on set as a default. You should not put a star. The system has to put a star. Remember, the system will be putting a star. Fine. Everything is not done. Fine. So click on save and close by which whatever the mapping set which is required for transaction is not done. Now we have to give a data access. The next step is what? We'll go on and do it. Will now go and then give a data access on this now. Fine. So we'll now click on it. We'll now go to the generic area of the task execution. Fine. Go there. Manage data access. So get the manage percentage. Data percentage. Access percentage. Fine. So we'll now wait. Fine. So manage data access. Fine. I will now add <coughs> the inventory manager data access, which is required. There are four data access which are required now. So we'll be doing it later on. One by one. Of the zero one. We'll get that. So go there. It is the inventory manager of the one. Fine. Go there. It is for the inventory org. And then there is only one org. I made it. Fine. So click on seven close the item. Now we are in a position to receive the item. <laughs> Having done the data access as well as the mapping set, whatever you can very well receive. I will know that. Why do you want to give the mapping? Oh God, please, please. If you, Why do you return the mapping? If you are not having the mic properly, it will be very difficult to understand what you speak now. Fine. Please keep your mics properly. So go there. I will now go to this place, click on create and entry all fine. Now we are given only K011 as the only access, so that will be coming fine for that point. So again, speak to me. Okay. I will now see whether I can understand now or not. I will now go there, put 10 iPhone, 100 iPhone, 1000 is account fine. Over. I will now say it's a local cash purchase. I will now go there. I will now make it as a yes, no fine. Over. I will now go and make a transaction for this item. We have got only one item of fine. K01 is the one fine. Give it a tap. It is done. And then I will now have only one sub inventory. I'll be putting it now. So drop it on. I will now keep a quantity of 10, 1000. So 1000. Sir. Go there. Click on it. Yeah. Now I'm able to hear you. Tell me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Abu Yeah. Abu Bakr. Tell me. Yeah. Tell me. Yeah. When, when you set the item cost as yes, I will be take, discussing about it in costing, not now. Fine. There is a it big. It will topic. take the price less. Or? No, no, no. You, I will not discuss anything at all. The big topic, I'll be coming to you now. And that's it. It's a big topic. I'll not update. So by which we are now completed the 66 steps. Now. So the time in my watch is what 620. 
and then I am delayed by 15 minutes now. Right? One hour and 15 minutes I took it to complete everything. <laughs> okay, fine. So, okay, even if you do this in three hours, it's great actually. I did in one hour and 15 minutes the 66 steps actually. Clear? I did it fast. It doesn't matter, but you will also be picking up the speed gradually. Actually. I am late actually. Because of mistakes, I made some mistakes here and there, and then because of which, what happens? It has taken some extra time, and then even my speed is also not that good actually. It's okay. It's okay speed actually. So any doubts on this now? Fine. So whenever an instance is given within two hours time, you must be able to complete you know, six to six and then jump into inventory. Next week onwards, we'll be having a deep dive in inventory. So you must be ready within two hours time or two and a half hours time. Raja has achieved it in two hours and forty five minutes. Raja, are you there? He, he told me that he did it in uh, what happens, two hours and 45 minutes, but he had to still bring it to two hours actually. At least. Any doubts? If you like it, can you give a green tick mark at the bottom now? So, one hour and 15 minutes I did it. Thank you. <laughs> Beautiful, sir. <laughs> Good. Day. So, so what happens is gradually develop speed. That's very, very important. The instances are going away now very fast. So you must be with your structure very fast also. Gradually develop the speed. Right? That's very, very important. Abu worker is not happy at all. No, I'm very happy, sir. <laughs> beautiful, sir. I'm beautiful teacher. <laughs> sir, you will cover the serial number. See, no, 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 serial number. I, I know this is only for uh, the 66 steps. You can watch oh. the serial numbers from there. So, to perform the 66 steps very fast, I did it. I want to do it in one hour because of mistakes or it has taken a longer time. So, it's possible. We can do it. Sir, Abu Bakr has asked some question to you. He told me yeah, he has asked question. a question, but I have now postponed the answer actually. He is saying question. about uh, you are making it as yes, na. Items cost is going to be yes, no, fine. We'll be coming to it a bit later. Not, not fine. Why you are making it fine? Everything is now related to costing, actually. So, once when I start the costing, at the time, I will now explain everything. Abu Bakr's is postponed, actually. Yeah. Tell me. Sir, is it possible to have the template uh, such so that these configurations have been done so that the data can be uploaded straight away to the system? Or, yeah. Uh, how do we we normally do this now, fine. Whenever you put an active template in the template, what happens? There is only one thing called active. We'll be having a look at it now. Fine. It is not the template which is going to populate your item. Fine. Your FBD8 is got a different one. It will be coming to you while you are importing the item. At the time, we will not discuss. You remember it, and then you ask all the questions while I am importing the item into the system. Okay. The template is not going to help at all. Template will help you only in item creation and not for import actually. <laughs> The problem in your uh, mic actually. You set up your mics and speakers very properly, or internet speed properly. Then only what happens? You can speak to me actually. Yes, Balaji. You want to speak to me? Balaji, A. He has been given a special assignment by his boss. His boss told me that he has given an assignment. He, uh, he will be completing it. Am I correct, Balaji? <laughs> I got a what was a message by your boss actually. People are unable to what happens even un unmute with a space bar. You can unmute and then speak to me also. With a space bar also, you can unmute and then speak to me. Hey Saranya, you are from Oracle, na? Saranya Sri. Hello, Nana. Oh, okay. This is I have one Saranya from Oracle actually. <clears throat> oh, you are a male. I thought that you are a female. You are Saranya. <laughs> Sir, I have just one doubt, which is uh, when we come when we compile our structure. So our structure takes the dominance over the all the previous structures which are killed in this, uh, which are Even built the in this. structure system. is a separate one. There is no question of dominance or anything. When you work oh, okay. in inventory, uh, that inventory will now follow the, your business unit, your legal entity, and then your chart of accounts. Separate, separate. In reality, you won't have this many structures in the field. Actually, right? we'll now only one structure. 
Only for training purposes, we are now all creating everybody uh, separate structure actually. But in reality, you will have only one structure. Now. Actually, I heard that pro, uh, cloud was forcing that there will be only one enterprise structure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for one instance, enterprise structure is only one below which we can have any number of legal entities. Actually. We cannot have multiple okay. enterprise structures. The enterprise can only be one below which we can have any number of entities. Actually. Okay. The real structure then, starts from any one. Then we have we have the facility to restrict for uh, individual uh, legal structures that we create, right? No. So that users no such, users should not. You, you cannot have any multiple structure at all. The enterprise structure can only be one in the instance. Okay. Yeah, Whereas but when you group, when you create multiple groups can be many in EBS. In EBS, we can have any number of business groups here. What about the enterprise is only one actually. Okay, we can have only one. When, sir, when we create multiple legal entities, yeah, and suppose there are multiple users, yeah. So we have to we have to restrict those for based on the data access and all, right? Yeah, yeah. So that, that yeah, data access is the one which is going to give additional restriction actually. Both the reference data set and data access will be uh, what happens uh, having its own role in uh, providing security to your transactions. Okay. And then your access. Now, now one question: when We created department. So, where department comes into play? Department is the sales, is the department service, the department marketing is the department. So those things will never come into our picture. Right? Whereas we are now dealing on mechanical department, electrical department. So. That department and our departments are totally different. That is for the financials, financials and CRM. So we created right one department. <laughs> we created because your position needs a department actually. Okay. Department is mandatory in position, and so we have to create. We are forced to create a department. Actually. Okay. okay. In reality, all these things will be done by the uh, HCMT, Human Capital Management Division. So if Human Capital Management is not there. Then you can create your own names for the department because we are not going to use the departments for any other activity. Department is normally created as a segment in the chart of accounts which financials is going to use. Yeah, that okay. is a different one. Right? And then this is a different one. The department okay. and position and then the segment as a department is a different one. Sir, tell me. Can we do quick review for uh, serial or uh, serial item? Yeah. Can we do what? Quick review for serial items. It means the six steps. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I, 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 actually, I, I, go ahead to go. No, fine. You watch the record; it will be there. It will be all be there. Fine. You can just watch it, and then if you have any doubts, whatever you can ask me on Saturday. Actually, you can. Uh, you can go to, you know, the agenda. I just walk you through from the one to. Yeah, six only six up to six to six actually. Fine. Only up to six. six, six. Maybe uh, just by looking at the agenda, so that you can summarize the. Uh, events what we have taken up so far because actually as he told because I couldn't uh, visualize the entire you know birds ID point of view. In this place, what we did is uh, initially we created the locations now. Right? The locations have been created, and then afterwards the legal address and legal entity have been created. So after having done this, we are given a legal entity access so that if legal entity access information is not given, we cannot create any users at all. Legal users cannot be created. Then we went to the chart of accounts and then calendars and then finally the accounting structure has been created. And then once we do that, we are deployed it. So after the deployment is completed, we have gone to the value sets, and then we are now populated these values actually. Then we created our primary ledger, fine. And then uh, we had done it, and then afterwards we did the specific object, and then we did the elemental uh, financial setup section. So by which what happens? All of our activity in the financials is complete, including your yearly, your ledger, your chart of accounts, and then your primary ledger. Then afterwards we came into the bottom most or next level, fine. Business unit is created. And then we are given the assign business unit business function. The, the material management functionality has been given now. And then afterwards, what happens? This we are, we are not touching it at all. Fine, we are not touching it. Uh, I will be doing it during payables basically. Otherwise, what happens? Yeah, a record has been made about when you had to touch this. That will be done. Then these two things we are not touched because it will be done in purchasing. And then we created our facility ships, workday calendars, and schedules. And finally, we created the inventory R. So afterwards, we tied the location to R. And then we created only one sub inventory. And then uh, <clears throat> normally, what happens? We need a job, a department, and position. So we create it. And then finally, we create the users now. And then we gave all the roles to the users. So once when all the roles are given, we get on. So we are now missed so many steps because we'll be doing it in purchasing. Actually, uh, we have gone to the carriers and transit times straight away. And then afterwards, we open the payment terms, and then we have incorporated our RDS into this now. And then afterwards, we are not gone. There's nothing like that. Uh, we are not done the this thing also fine. 
and then nothing is there i know that i have now gone to that what's called straight away <coughs> what happens the common options so common options and then configure requisitioning on configure procurement business function has been completed then i went to the item class and then created a template and then finally i created an item and then afterwards i added the mapping set into this place now fine mapping set has been set properly as well as a data access has been given mapping set and data access so that what happens that we can receive the item actually so we received it so this is all what we did it today clear so you go through this you'll be understanding it it's not a very difficult thing yes sir okay bye for now and then we'll now meet at 5 pm on saturday and then we'll continue bye thank you anand bye